Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to try some new lashes that are new to me and they are the Stardust from Lashify. I picked these up a while back and I have sizes 10, 12, and 14 in the shade Chocolate. They do come in different colors. I chose the shade Chocolate because I have lighter features so I love a brown lash for myself. So we're gonna try these today and then I'm also gonna clean some of my lashes. So I usually do not clean and reuse lashes, but Lashify is a little expensive. These I for sure will be reusing. And then I also have the new Lilac Straight Half Lash in here, which I do wanna keep and reuse because I think these would be great for like New Year's Eve, for really vamp up an eye look. So the way that most people clean and reuse lashes is you put them in a cup, add some isopropyl alcohol, I have 91% here. Let them soak in alcohol to let that glue kind of disintegrate off the lashes. The alcohol is not gonna ruin the lashes, but it is gonna disintegrate that glue. Most people I would say soak them overnight. Let me know if anything has changed. So I'm just gonna add enough to kind of cover the lashes. You don't wanna do like a whole pool in there, but you know, just enough to let them soak in there. And I didn't plan this video well. This was like a last minute thing. So I'm just gonna let them soak in there until I apply the Stardust. And then we're gonna take them out onto a clean napkin or paper towel or whatever. And you're gonna use either a eye, clean eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna use some Q-tips to brush through the lashes and kind of remove that excess glue. And then once they're clean, you let them air dry and then use a spoolie to kind of fluff them back up and they're good for reuse. And that's essentially the process, fairly easy. So I'm gonna let this sit there and now we're gonna move on to the lashes. I already did my makeup. I have a bit of a soft wing liner using eyeshadow and my eyelashes themselves are prepped, meaning they are free of any dirt and oils, which I usually use this magic primer here on Amazon to kind of swipe through the eye area, make sure my eye area is free of any dirt and oils because oils are the enemy for lashes. So you don't want any oils on your eye area. And tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so I thought, perfect. These are like nice and soft and kind of feminine, but the chocolate color I feel like will be, I don't know, perfect for Thanksgiving. I feel like anything brown for Thanksgiving always goes. So let me open up one of the lashes to show you guys what they look like. Again, I've never tried them, but they have been around. They're not new new. They're not that new new, you know what I'm saying? But they're new to me, meaning I've never tried them. So here's a close up. The lashes themselves look really pretty. So unlike the Starburst, I think these are softer. And you can see they have like a little bit of a spike in the center, but the lashes themselves are, they have like a soft glam look to them. I think I'm gonna do a cat eye lash map. So I have 10, 12, and 14. Like I said, I think I'm gonna start off with 14, maybe do two 14s, one or two 12s, and then finish off with a 10 in the inner corner. For glue, I'm gonna use the Lashify Duo glue here. I was perusing Amazon and I did buy some stuff from Lashify and Amazon. They do have a legitimate storefront. And I noticed that right now, I don't know if it's because of Black Friday, they're having a sale on basically all of their items. And some of the items are actually cheaper than on the website. So it's worth checking out. I'll leave the Amazon storefront down below. Hopefully they're still on sale because you can snag. They have like Ease, Fluffies. They have the Coral Lashes. Okay, I'm gonna grab a 14 with my fingers. I feel like using your fingers, you're less likely to rip the fibers apart. And then I'm gonna grab the clear side of the glue and I'm gonna swipe some of that onto the spine at the top of the lash cluster, coating the lash cluster. It's not wanting to focus. That way I'm double bonding. So I have glue on my natural lashes and then also on the spine. So it just gives me extra hold. Here's what the cluster looks like up close. You can see there's a little bit of a spike. So some of them fan out to the sides and then there's a spike in the middle. And then for placement, you just place it as close to the root as possible, but make sure you're not touching the waterline. And then also follow the natural curve of your eye shape when you are placing them. So that's a 14. I think I'm gonna do another 14. I feel like I could have gotten longer sizes for these because the longest length is only in the spike in the center. So with spiky lashes, you can definitely get away with longer lengths. Like I usually don't wear 16s, I could have definitely gotten away with 16s. I'm gonna try to squeeze a 10 in the inner corner, but I'm not sure that I have enough lashes in the inner corner to make that happen. 
but we're gonna try nonetheless. I don't usually like to apply lashes too close to the inner corner because it gets uncomfortable for me and I'm able to feel them the closer I get. But I feel like this look needs something there. All right, I kind of overlap them a little bit so these two spikes are closer than the rest. But do you see how like playful and fun and feathery these lashes are? I think Stardust is a really great name. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch everything together. I like how these look on their own, but I think this would be, these would be equally as pretty to stack on top of other lashes. I really, really wish I got these in longer sizes, like 16s, maybe even 18s. I'm taking a 14 and I think I'm gonna stack some on top. So I think I'm gonna do a 14 here and here. So in between those two 14s, I'm going to place another 14. I feel like this is going to make it super fluttery and really pretty. Okay, let me actually move that 14 to the outer, outer edge instead. Wow, that is so pretty. So I stacked a 14, a 14, and I think I'm going to do a 12 right here. And I think that's all that I will do in terms of stacking. And I feel like I'm going to get the results that I want when it comes to like a super fluttery, wispy look. I'm so happy with how that came out. Look at how fluttery and so pretty that is, like super wispy. I love that. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna try to replicate the exact same thing on this eye and then show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. Here is the full finished result. I am so impressed. I think these definitely exceeded my expectations, especially stacked get that super fluttery fun look I personally love wispy ends I'm not a fan of like super blunt ends I just feel like it looks a lot prettier and these definitely are it for me like and the chocolate color it's like just enough so for a lash map once again I did 14 14 12 12 10 and you could technically overlap these since I'm going to kind of brick stacked on top so on top I did a 14 closer to the outer edge another 14 and then a 12 so I stacked three on top and I would probably go longer if I were to do this again so if you usually go max 14 try 16 you'd be surprised how much you can get away with you are using more lashes so it is more expensive like I used th three cartridges but I actually have quite a lot left over like I could probably trickle trickle triple or quadruple stack these and you can reuse them so which is what we're going to do next i'm going to show you guys how i wash them not these but the ones that i have going in that little little situation here people reuse them multiple 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 times it's not like one two three four five times i mean they're my sister i think some of them she reused like 20 times if not more not even exaggerate so here's the end result here's what it looks like when i look down and then gorgeous just gorgeous and then from the side they're just absolutely beautiful in my opinion so let's get to reusing these right there and keep the cartridges as well because you can pop open like take your wand this black top pops off and then you have this plastic piece here which holds the lashes down and this comes off as well and then you just pop them back in so they're nice and secure put that black top back on and they're back in the cartridge let me go ahead and spill this alcohol out alcohol is all spilled out and go ahead and dump them onto a napkin you can use a towel a clean towel paper towel whatever and then let me actually grab my tweezers and go ahead and separate all of them so i went ahead and kind of separated them by style so I have my chocolate plushies here, my core, I think these are C's, 12's. Some of them are falling apart, but just like one or two. It's mainly the core lashes. Not sure what's going on there. I had a few spikes fall apart, but everything else seems to be good to go. And then I have the eye line right here. So while holding it down, you can use either a clean eyeshadow brush, mascara brush, um, like spoolie, whatever. I have to do this left-handed so that my hand's not in the way. Just kind of hold it down and then clean off the excess glue off the cluster. The alcohol, what it did is basically loosened the glue off of the clusters. And what you're doing now is kind of swiping that glue away now that it's nice and loose. 
that's essentially the idea behind using isopropyl alcohol. Just go through and clean every single one. And then once you do that, you want to leave them to air dry. And once they're air dried, you can grab a clean spoolie and just kind of give them a little fluff and they're good to go to be reused. But that's essentially the process for reusing lashes. It's very simple, very easy, and you basically get nice fresh lashes. The only thing with using a Q-tip is sometimes you might get little fuzzies, so you're probably better off using like a stiff eyeshadow brush. I just don't have one right now that's clean. All of mine are dirty, so I decided to let me use a Q-tip, but I probably recommend using a clean eyeshadow brush. Like that way you get to avoid the little fuzzies. 